my name is Grace Huang. I am the co-founder and creative director of Trifecta Martial Arts. I'm formally trained in design. I started a design company. I left it because I didn't have the patience. I, I didn't have the passion for it. You know, I was good at it, but it wasn't quite for me. So I, I was like, always wanted to try to pursue a singing career. So I, I, I did that. And um, I went away to Hong Kong and stuff like that. And that didn't quite work out. So I came back to Singapore and then I got into that relationship. We were having a really bad argument and I had the bedside table like flung at me, which narrowly missed me. I could remember myself crying. I, I was also running eBay seminars at the time, not knowing that my business partner had um, cheated people of money. And I felt really disempowered at that point. So I joined Muay Thai. I did feel better and then I had another bad relationship end and I wanted to go back to something again, you know, and that was BJJ for me. BJJ has really changed my life because it made me more calm and more centred as a person. It made me realise that not everything is comfortable. When you're in a situation where someone is about to choke you, it becomes the situation where are you going to collapse into your own desperation or are you going to keep trying, keep fighting? And that translated into my life. Before, every day was like, YOLO! You know, and it was not nice when you YOLO'd every day. For the first half of the day, I'm usually at home playing mother to three dogs. I'm usually at Trifecta after three o'clock. I always jokingly say that I am the grumpy old ballet teacher sitting at the corner of the hall, not moving and sort of like banging the floor and like, why are you doing this? Some of the students actually are like scared of me until they realise that I look frustrated not because I'm frustrated at them but because I'm trying to think of ways to explain it such that they can understand. I had a few new students come in and uh, later you meet him, Eamon. He was one of my first few students at Trifactor. When he was doing the technique with the boys, I could see that he was telling them, he was teaching them, you know, very gently and very kindly. And I was very proud. I was actually teaching one of the boys and I was looking over at Eamon and I was like, oh my heart. <laughs> we have another teenage boy, Nathaniel. He was also one of the first students. He and his sister, they're really, really amazing. Nathaniel would come for my adult beginners class. And before he was so shy, he'd never make friends. And he was always like, you know, like, hey, Nathaniel, how are you? And now he's got friends that he would like joke with people and share techniques with people and it's really nice to see him come out of his shell, you know. My mom, she's so strong and so capable. At a time where, you know, female entrepreneurs, what's that, you know? But she did it. I remember once when I had called her from Australia in one of my meltdowns, I called her crying and I was like, Mommy, I don't know what to do and she was like, you know, you're old enough now, you know what to do. I'm like, oh my god. My mom says the wisest things to me and she never believed in spoon feeding me. She never believed in spoiling me. And she always let me make my own mistakes, even though she could see it coming. Even as an instructor now, sometimes I look at my students and I want to tell them what to do. I'm like, no, you have to make your own mistakes to learn. My name's Arlene and I'm Grace's business partner. To be honest, I remember the first time she walked into another gym where we were both previously training. You know, back then I was like considered like Queen Bee, right? So, you know, no one wanted to spar with me because, you know, and then here was this girl coming by and telling me what to do and I was just, all right, I will ju just do what she keeps telling me to do and when we roll, I will smash her. Aline and I thought, hey, you know what? We're on to something, you know, all the skills here are all about how fit you can be, how much weight you can lose. But we wanted something more, you know, we wanted something that reflected us, that reflected our lives. When we started Trifecta, it was meant to embody certain values, uh, how we were meant to 
cultivate the mind, body and soul. We were supposed to be there for our members first and foremost. And Grace is really instrumental in putting forward that message. Because she is constantly on a journey of self-improvement, I think this martial arts journey has really pushed her out of her comfort zone. I am now a strong believer that nothing can change in your life until you change the way you feel about yourself the way that you see yourself and your place in the world. When you start being okay with things not being okay, everything's gonna work out fine. As sure as the sun goes down, the sun rises again tomorrow.